Tags are a great organizational tool built into the Finder. A file or folder can be assigned one or multiple tags. Tags are searchable and files can be viewed by tags in the Finder. Multiple tags can be added to one file and tags can be assigned from the Save dialog boxes in an app. One of the biggest benefits of tags is that they work with files stored in iCloud Drive and in the iOS Files app. You can see here that Tags has its own section in the Finder sidebar. I currently have four tags displayed here. What's displayed on your Mac may be different. If you don't see any Tags section here, go to Finder Preferences in the Tags tab. If no tags are checked in this list, the Tags section won't appear in the Finder sidebar. Any tag with a check next to it is going to be displayed in the sidebar. We can add new tags here by clicking the plus button. Notice this new one doesn't have a color, so tags don't have to have a color associated with them. I can give the tag any name I want though. I'll call this one Stock Photos. We can right click on any of these tags to rename them or assign them a different color. I'll name the blue tag Home and the purple tag Important. The tags that are unchecked can still be used. They just won't be visible in the Finder sidebar. We can get to all our tags with a click on the All Tags button here in the sidebar. Now let's assign some tags to files. I'll start with this Loan Comparison Numbers document. There are a few different ways to assign a tag. First, I could select the file and then click the Tag button up here in the toolbar. I can then just click on any of the tags listed or enter the name of a tag here. I'll assign the important tag to this document. We can also apply tags by right clicking on a file or folder and choosing Tags. Then select from the same menu. To make this faster, we can add favorite tags back in Finder Preferences. I'll drag the important and home tags in here. Now when I right click on a file, I can assign one of my favorite tags with a single click. I'll assign the home tag to this document as well. Now from the Finder sidebar, I can view this document when I select the important or home tag. I could move this document to any other folder on my Mac's drive and it's still going to appear when viewing the home or important tags here. We can also assign tags when saving a document. I'll launch Pages and open a new document. If I then wanted to save this, notice the Tags field here. I can then click to locate the tag I want or just start typing its name. I'll assign this one the Home tag. And there it is. Now let's assign a tag to a folder. I'm going to assign the important tag to this folder. Notice that doing this doesn't tag all the files within the folder but you are able to access all these files when viewing the folder from the tag section in the Finder. Tagging a folder and not all the files within it can help reduce clutter when viewing the tag. If I tag all the files in this folder with the important tag, they will then also all appear when the tag is selected in the Finder sidebar. This might work great for you, but I tend to prefer just tagging the folder and then viewing the files within the folder when I choose to view the folder's contents. Tags can be used when making smart folders as well. 
If I want a smart folder that contains only the files and folders that I have both the important and home tags assigned to, I can create one that uses the tags attribute. In this case, I want two tag attributes, one that is the home tag and one that is the important tag. Now this folder will display only the files that have both of those tags assigned. I'm going to bring up my iPad now and open the Files app. Notice that this has all my tags available here. Tap on the Home tag and the same result appears here as it does on my Mac. This is because I have iCloud Drive activated and my desktop and documents folders are being synced. If I were to then tag a file here in the Files app, it's going to sync with the tags on my Mac. And after a few seconds, it will appear when I select its tag in the finder. So assigning tags in your Mac and iOS devices can be a very powerful method of organizing your files and folders.